Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about New York and Trump and Weisselberg and today's events and how they may impact things in the future. Okay, so if you have missed the news, aren't aware, Trump Organization's chief financial officer has uh, reportedly entered a, uh, entered a guilty plea for perjury. Alan Weisselberg, who I want to say is 76 years old, the allegations are that he uh, perjured himself, provided false information during Trump's civil case. Now, it's important to remember that the New York Times broke a story back in February suggesting negotiations were underway for this plea agreement. Um, for a guilty plea. And the judge in the civil case asked about it, and I am uh, not certain he's going to be happy with these developments based on what it seems he was told at the time. Okay, so what happens to Weiselberg? We don't know yet. But what uh, is going to matter is that Weisselberg's documentation, that's going to come into play in Trump's next criminal case in New York, what's being called the hush money case, which is really about the falsification of records. Um, calling it the hush money case is not the best uh, terminology for it. It's going to set a tone right away um, that there are problems when it comes to stuff like this. Um, so even though this event is relatively small and doesn't really impact Trump directly, the odds are that this, this development, Weisselberg pleading guilty, um, it, it's probably going to have downstream effects for Trump that are going to impact him more negatively than he might imagine, I think. Um, so we'll follow it, and as sentencing becomes uh, public or any potential agreement, whether or not Weisselberg's going to cooperate, that's not expected. But um, anything like that that comes up, we'll uh, keep you updated on. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.